Elliot, uh, give those cards a shuffle for me. So tarot readers would tell you that uh, you put a piece of your soul into the cards whenever you shuffle them. I, I don't really know if that's true, but I, I like the sentiment. And I do think you've made this deck unique now um, because this arrangement of cards you will never see again as long as you are shuffling cards. It just can't, can't statistically come up. Uh, now, they also will tell you that they can predict the future with the cards, and I don't know that that's a thing that's possible, but I know that in a way it seems like it is. Uh, so I'm going to try and predict a little bit of the future for you. Uh, let's see. With these four cards. Now, in addition to shuffling, which is a random procedure, we're just asking Chance to make the decisions here. We're going to ask Chance to make the decisions again. So if you'll cut about half of the cards here, and about half of these here, and about half of these here. And that's just another randomizing procedure, but it also brings you closer to the deck. Right? Now they're really yours. You've shuffled them, you've cut them, they're yours. So if you pick up this packet, we're going to use procedure here to get into the reading. You take three cards from the top and put them at the bottom. And then you deal one here, one here, and one here. And then we do that with the second packet. And then with the third. And then with the fourth. And so now we've used the procedure of randomness and a ritual, which is even better. Now you must be associated with these cards. They have to say something about you. And now we look at the cards and we find out what they say. What's the story, right? So the nine of diamonds would normally relate to, to money. Uh, and a nine is a lot of money. That's, that's a good card to have. The two of hearts, hearts definitely has to do with relationships, uh, which is good. Two people, two hearts together is probably the right number. That works out for a lot of people worldwide, right? Uh, the four of spades, a spade is like a shovel, so it has something to do with work. The good news is you're doing less work than the money that you have. That's kind of the, the ideal life that everyone would want to have anyways. But then we go from the nine of diamonds to the eight of diamonds. So you get a little bit less money than you've had, but I think you're probably overall happy, right? You've got the two of hearts. You've got a little bit of work, but not too much. It's okay to not have all the diamonds, right? So the way that works is just that that story, which now is associated with you through ritual, through random chance, and through me telling you the story, you can either go out of here and say, no, that didn't have anything to do with me. Or you can find that story in your life and you can make that meaningful to yourself. You can go out and find something that is just like that red nine and is just like the red two, something just like the black four, something just like the red eight. In fact, you're gonna see something like that again right now. That's the red nine, the red two, the black four, and the red eight. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah.